billionaire businessman Sir Jim Ratcliffe has reportedly employed the services of two Wall Street giants to help him in his bid for Manchester United. The Premier League club were placed on the market by the Glazer family in November, following a tumultuous 17-and-a-half-year spell in charge of the Red Devils. Despite the club's glittering success under Sir Alex Ferguson, United's owners have continued to be at the forefront of fan protests in recent years, citing a lack of investment and outrage at the proposal to join the European Super League. Tech giants Apple, a Qatari investment group and Ratcliffe, owner of the rebranded Ineos cycling team, formerly Team Sky, have all expressed an interest in purchasing Man UTD. The Glazer family have set a deadline of February 17 for all parties to submit their bids with the Qatari outfit plotting an eye-watering £6 billion coup. The Middle Eastern firm are confident their bid will blow away the rest of the competition, leaving Ratcliffe to hire banks JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs to understand the feasibility of his pursuit. Bloomberg report that Britain's richest man is in discussions concerning bid tactics and the banks could help arrange finance for any forthcoming offer. Ratcliffe, a boyhood man UTD, was the first person to declare an interest after the Glazers confirmed they were open to investment. We have formally put ourselves into the process, a spokesperson for Ineos told The Times in January. It is also understood Ratcliffe met Joel and Avram Glazer last year, though the club was not up for sale at that point. The Ineos CEO, 70, was also in the running to buy Chelsea in May last year before the West Londoners were bought by Todd Bowley. The Dodgers co-owner forked out a staggering £4.25 billion to purchase the Blues with Ratcliffe himself submitting a bid in the region of £4 billion.